77% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed. <laughs> you should subscribe. What is up, Goria Gang? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to the Goria Gang. I'm so excited to have you here today, and I would love if you would click that subscribe button somewhere down here and click that bell so you do get notified when I post. And if you've been here for a really long time, I appreciate your ongoing support. I have two full bags of Sephora goods that I purchased during the VIB sale. So if you guys want to see me talk about all these products and the products that I purchased, then let's go ahead and get started with the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and like stick my hand in here, like pick out like things at random. So the first thing that I purchased is the tint little is the L'Oreal. L'Oreal is not supposed to Sephora. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and I got this in the shade Nude. This is my favorite everyday base to just wear, and if you guys want to see, like, my favorite everyday five-minute, like, makeup tutorial, let me know down below, and I'll totally do that for you guys. Since it is coming up on the summer, and you want that, like, simple, simplistic makeup, let me know, but this is my favorite stuff, and this is just a repurchase of mine. This is about my sixth tube I repurchased, so I just love this stuff a lot. The next thing I purchased is the... Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, and I'm really excited to try this. Um, I may have a dedicated video going up on this, like, talking about this. I may not. It totally depends. But I got this to try out because I really do, like, high volume um, and length in my lashes. I really like to be thick but, like, not clumpy whatsoever. So I thought I would try this mascara out. And then the other thing that I got is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan fantastic 104 bronzer um I got this last year and let me be honest I when I got it I was like it doesn't fit my drawers so I literally returned it because it didn't fit my drawers but I have bigger drawers now and I got it and I've already been using it a couple times and I really really do like this okay so I got three things um that are in the category of skincare the first thing is the fresh rose deep hydration facial toner this is what I use to tone my face and I am starting Accutane Friday May what's it the 9th the, no it's the 11th Friday May 11th um and it's not because I have like really bad acne it's just because I want to prevent acne in the future so I am starting Accutane and my skin is going to be super dry and I already use this because it provides really nice hydration to my skin. I just take it on a cotton pad and wipe it around my face. I just love this toner a lot. Next thing I purchased is the Sephora Biocellulose uh, Watermelon After Sun Mask. You have your face and your decollete, um, like a mask for both. And this is, you're supposed to use this like after the sun, which is super cool. And it's dermatology tested and it's like very good for your skin. It's quenching and it makes your tan last longer for some odd reason. I guess it's just because it's hydrating. Um, so I'm excited to try this, and it seems like there's so much product in here. It's super mushy. And the last skincare product that I picked up is the Ula Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Creme. Uh, this is the Truth Brighten Age Defying 24 Hour Hydration Facial Moisturizer. Um, I've already been through one of these. I got sent one um, from Ula Henriksen and Trimood, which I was super excited about, but I have run out of that. Um, and I actually did end up really, really liking this moisturizer. Um, I just it's really good and my dermatologist said that this is very good for all skin types so if it's dermatologist approved then I think you can use it and it's really good super nourishing and it really helps the glow in your skin it really like amps up the glow and hydrates and helps with like scarring and like texture it's just really good I really like this but the next thing I picked up is the Lancome Monsieur Big this is my second one this is the big is the new black this is really good. It kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which I adore that mascara because I love how thick it makes your lashes. And that's why I purchased this one by Milk Makeup because I really like thick lashes, but like I said, I don't like them clumpy, but I like them long. So I really think that this does that because the wand is so good and it's really big, but it really grasps each lash and pulls it. And coats it really nicely which is like that was super in-depth I purchased another beauty blender this is the black one this is the original I really like this one and I use this to like apply my foundation like 90% of the time sometimes I use my Clarisonic with the brush head which I love using that I use that today um, and sometimes I like to use a sponge it totally depends on my mood and what I'm going for and then I picked up the Sephora collection dual coverage sponge and if you watched my um, pro makeup artist tips and tricks which I'll throw up here 
and linked down below. The makeup artist used this and her makeup looked flawless. She really likes the sponge. And I'm pretty sure it was like $12. So I purchased this because it's double sided. One side gets more coverage and one side gets less coverage. Okay, so moving on to lips. I purchased the Clinique and Mary Mecco Pop Splash Lip Gloss. This is... And it, oh, and it has hydration in it. Um, only reason I got this is because I watched Tati's like VIB sale recommendations. And she mentioned this and I was like, wow. It's beautiful. And I saw this in the store before. I saw. I've seen this in the store before. And I thought it was gorgeous. This is in the shade Caramel Pop. And it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's kind of faded. But I'm just going to show you how good it is. It's so pretty. And this is like a perfect nude gloss in my opinion. So this just feels really good and hydrating on the lips. And it's super comfortable. No, it's not like the most long lasting thing ever. I ate dinner and it was fully gone. But it's really nice, and I am wearing a lip liner with it right now. It's the Sephora Gel Lip Liner. And then the last lip product is the Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. You guys, this smells like caramel candies. Being honest, like, I've never been, like, the, like, biggest fan of caramel, but this smells like... The, like the fair caramel like when you go to the fair and they have like those caramel apples like this is what it smells like and this is super hydrating I like to apply this during the day like when I'm not really ton like when I'm not really wearing tons of makeup but it also tastes really good like if you get this in the mouth like don't be afraid like this tastes really good when you get it in your mouth so I really like this and it's super nourishing throughout the day um, on your lips instead of wearing like a liquid lipstick or anything like that the next thing I purchased is the Sephora collection by the way I've been into Sephora collection a lot lately I really like Sephora collection I've been finding really good things from Sephora collection so yeah this is the Sephora collection pack it all organizer and I only got this because Kathleen lights she did her travel video and this literally looks like the most perfect and it is travel bag I haven't used it yet but it just looks amazing so when you open it you get this compartment up here for your brushes and every brush will just fit right in it and then you get this little slip and this is like for liquid lips like liners like really small things like that and then you get obviously this is not connected to it um, once I cut it it'll come off then you get these two containers which I would use these for like foundation powders like setting sprays those type of things and then underneath you can put all of your palettes so you would put like your like three eyeshadow palettes or like your face palette down below and you can even stick one on the back side stick these two in stick this on top of this close it and boom everything is in this I thought this was really smart and I want to say it came to like $40 once I used um, my 20% was a 15% off discount code so yeah I purchased this and it's really nice and durable it's big but it's not too big like comparing this to a morphe palette it's like three inches bigger than a morphe palette so I also purchased the IGK MIA Beach Club texture spray I love this I have been using the Orbe texture spray for a really long time I would say about six months or so but it's quite expensive. I'm kind of going to show you the difference on one side of my hair versus the other side. So what I'll do is I'll just take a bit in the roots and then like the back. Now I don't know about you but I can totally tell the difference in texture. This side is more like voluminous and plump and this one's a little bit more flat. So I really do like this and it smells like coconut. It's really good and I love IGK. I love their, what's it, the charcoal dry shampoo. That's really good. Um, if you have like really oily roots like me. Oh my god, I'm going to finish the other side before I look like a crazy freak. So next I have two things from Too Faced. I purchased the Too Faced Natural Eyes Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. Can we talk about this packaging? It's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, and this is even more beautiful than the outside packaging. Look at that. It's literally like perfection. Like if I was an eyeshadow palette, this is me. The packaging is me. This has shimmers and mattes mixed. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch a few for you guys. Oh my gosh. They're just so pigmented and gorgeous. Um, this brown shade I love to like darken up my outer V area and things like that. These shadows are really nice and I'm so excited that I got this. Look at these shimmers right there. They're so metallic and gorgeous. And Bunny Bronzer. This has been around for a really long time. But I got it in the new packaging, and this packaging literally looks like an Oreo, and I just want to eat it. I promise you guys, this is my last Sephora collection product that I purchased. But this is the Refresh and Prep Lip Scrubber. Basically, I got this for...
before when I go to bed and before I put liquid lips on to really scrub off the dead skin and when I apply my lip scrub I'm gonna apply it on my lips take this and then scrub it so I get a bit more of a deeper cleanse basically people have been using their toothbrush lately to do that to really make their lips a little bit more plump and get that like blood circulation going and like vibing throughout the lips but I use an electric toothbrush and I don't know if it's smart to use an electric toothbrush for that because I don't want to mess up the bristles so I thought that I would just go ahead and get this because it has two sides this one is a little bit more forgiving and this one is a little bit more like hardcore the next thing I purchased is the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base shea butter vitamin C and E I'm so excited to try this you guys I saw Jeffrey and Manny like raving about this and I wasn't gonna get it because it was a little bit out of my price range and then when I had the 15% off it kind of took like was it like seven dollars off of it and I was like well that's good enough then like not taking anything off of it like at all but this literally is so luxurious it's supposed to basically be a like a moisturizer and a primer in one to really prolong your foundation this is my favorite setting spray this is the Kat Von D lock it makeup setting mist this doesn't mattify my skin but it doesn't make it dewy this just locks it all in right in place it doesn't add a certain finish it literally just it locks everything into your skin I use this um, mixed with like an illuminating setting spray but I love this I've been through a full bottle which you'll see in my empties coming up soon so stay tuned for that smells like cucumbers and it feels so good on the skin and the mist is so just like watch this ready it's so fine oh my gosh and the last thing I got was a Smashbox and Vlada petal metal shimmer drops I don't know who Vlada is I've never really followed her before but I wasn't planning on getting anything from this collection and I never even saw these really talked about or like showcased but these are the petal metal shimmer shimmer drops in the shade gold glitz it's literally just shimmer yes, ready oh my goodness do you see that i don't know what i'm going to use these for definitely not my body because it was 30 dollars for this little thing but i'm either going to take this and like top it on my lips i don't think i'll mix it on my foundation because it's like literally sparkles it's not really it's not a sheen at all it's sparkles like sparkles on your face um or i'll like top my highlight off with it or my lips or something of that sort so my gosh we got through this video thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of the goria gang i would love if you would stick around for my next video which will be in a couple days from now i mean the world to me and I hope you follow my social medias. My Instagram and social medias will be linked down below. All you have to do is tap on which social media platform you want to follow um, or add me on and it'll take you right to it. Or I can post them up right here, throw them up for you guys to look at, follow me on my Instagram, add me on Snapchat, my Twitter, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.